Well, Barry, I have a book here. It's called The Sapping of America. Right. It's written by Paul Baudot. Mm -hmm. And it says microwaves, their deadly risk and their cover up. It says on the f front page here microwave radiation can blind you, alter your behavior, cause genetic damage, even kill you. The risk has been hidden from you by the Pentagon, the State Department, and the electronics industry. With this book, the microwave cover up is ended. It's from 1977, so it's the year oh, after you said yeah, everything was, yeah. just to confirm what you said yeah, actually. Yeah, 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 everything was covered up in 1976. Yeah, actually I think he was covered up too yeah. later on, I think he's... Yeah, the, the blindness is an interesting one, because it, um, the eye has its own circadian rhythms, and there are uh, special cells in the side of the eye that not many people know about, and they absorb radiation, uh, and they can affect the eye as well. And the, the frequency of the microwaves can affect the, the uh, circadian rhythm, the natural circadian rhythm of different parts of the eye. So it, it is quite normal if you're in a field, a magnetic, uh, a microwave field, uh, to have uh, vision problems, the same as hearing problems. It, it, it's quite normal. What about when people are using glasses with metal around the eyes and going to the ears? Well, I mean, it's already been known that um, the metal will absorb the radiation as all metal absorbs yeah. microwaves and they will re-emit it straight into the eyes, like when you have the metal cuff yeah. under the bra. Uh, they will absorb the radiation and they are in the shape of a parabola, so they will focus into just a small group of cells in, in the mammary cells uh, which can turn cancerous. Uh, <clears throat> similarly, um, the eye, the glasses, will reflect into the eye, metal rim spectacles, yeah. And what about the beds? We have again beds with metal Well, bed springs, yeah. Um, anyone who is uh, the tiniest bit sensitive or in a, in a strong magnetic field uh, they should get rid of all of the springs because they will absorb the radiation at night. The radiation will come up through the bed whilst you're sleeping. That will knock your melatonin sideways, which is produced at night, to boost the immune system. Uh, and you will be waking up feeling very tired, very headachy, very sick. Uh, and you, you will never get better, you will only get worse. I think that's very important because most people, they, they sleep on springs. They, mm. they don't sleep on this lat, uh, latex, <coughs> or what you call yeah. it. Mm. Yeah. We have been a lot around it all, 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 lots of it, and how the control mechanisms are going on, and how the government and the secret services, and, yeah. and how it's all being done, and the US or the organization, we can say, because I believe it's over-national, it's super-national, yep. national, so it's really the super-rich of the world, or the super, but they are all interrelated on top of nationality, you can say. Right. But <coughs> I have this book, I don't know if you have read it, but it's called... I, I don't have time to read books. No, but it's called Mass Control Engineering Human Consciousness. Yeah. It's by Jim Keith, who died suddenly from cancer, 50 years old. Um, yeah, <clears throat> whether it was induced or whatever, I don't know. But it sums up a lot of what CIA have been doing the last 50 years with uh, both psychiatric means and radiation yeah. and how it's all to actually control us like robots or control our behavior so yeah. we will be good citizens, yeah. good consumers and just watching television and doing nothing. Yeah. Uh, you know, like the Orwellian super state, uh, George Orwell, 1984. <clears throat> I, I, I wonder sometimes, um, I know all these experiments went on. Yeah. Uh, and I know that they can induce severe psychiatric disorders uh, by varying the pulses. <clears throat> But I don't know, and I'm not arguing here, no, no. I don't know whether the intention is to use them on your own people to control them, or you have to have knowledge of them in case an enemy country beams you and causes it. Because if, let's say, you have two countries that don't like each other, 
one country can easily beam another country and cause suicides, depression, like introducing drugs, really, yeah. and cause mayhem in the hospitals, the government, money, and everything. <clears throat> so one argument for this is if you know this exists, you can easily work out uh, a jamming sequence to prevent it. So I, I can see an argument where they will say, yes, we tested this, albeit illegally, like germ warfare, but now we know what it is and where it's come from and how it works. We can stop anybody using it against us. So there are two arguments here. There is one, will they use it on their own people? And two, will they use it to prevent somebody else using it on your own people? Uh, Professor Al Jorsen from uh, Karolinska in mm -hmm. Stockholm, he said to me when we had that talk, mm -hmm. he said, well, if you were in government, he said to me, would you like to have ten thousands of Morton Julius asking questions, knocking on doors, doing videos and so on? Mm. Or would you like your population to be very docile, oh, yeah, to be very sleepy and not so creative and yep. so on? And he said, well, if you want to have the power, but if we talk about countries not liking each other and so mm -hmm. on, if we, this is just an experiment, if we think that there are no really conflicts in this world, they are all created through religion, through microwaves, through uh, biological warfare, that, that <coughs> really we are all being manipulated, that it's just they yeah. play the huge monopoly yeah. and they have an extra ring. Yeah. And we are inside. You know, oh, absolutely. That absolutely. could be, you know, and, and, yep. and therefore they just laugh us off and say, all oh, the government employees, they don't do anything in a way, they just mm. serve us. Mm. You know, they, they are cool, they are psychopaths, the one on top, because they have no emotions. They are ice cold. They can kill you and me without blinking. Oh, I don't doubt that for a second. Yeah. 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 But I'm just saying there is a counter argument here yeah. where they will justify what they are doing. Yeah. But, I mean, in this country, every single microwave transmitter for every single phone comes under the Official Secrets Act. Yeah. The press are not allowed to report, technically, on anything to do with the communications industry. It all comes under the Official Secrets Act, and if you do, you can go to jail. That's interesting. In Denmark, it's only the t uh, Tetra system that is uh, hidden. But of course, if you know how the antennas look like, yeah. you can find them. But you cannot look them up. We can look every yeah. mobile phone tower up on the screen, see yeah. where they are. Not Tetra. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, because I'm reporting a lot about this in Denmark and I don't get any... And the reason Tetra is secret is not because the frequencies are known. Yeah. The aerials are known. Yeah. The only key, the reason they're keeping Tetra secret is to stop people publishing how dangerous it is on the emergency services. Yeah. That's why they're keeping it secret. Yeah. It's because the press can't say, well, hang on, this causes calcium efflux in the brain, which can cause this and this and this. We know it will probably cause cancers in the brains of the emergency services. So if you want something to be kept quiet, you just say, zonk. We're putting all that under the Official Secrets Act, and now you can't talk about it. But you know, this is what you just said here in, in 30 seconds. That's really the point we need to give to every emergency employee in the police, in the ambulances, in the buses, in the trains, all the people working with Tetra. <coughs> we need to make either a little DVD or a little document and just handing out every time we take a bus. We can put it on the internet, people can download it, print it out, give it to the bus driver, give it to every policeman they meet. We can start the... it can be done. We've already done that. I've already done that. Yeah, but um, in Denmark we... No, my, um, my highly confidential report that yeah. I, I made for the yeah. union, uh, I've done two confidential reports. One, a police officer put it on the internet, and in another one, another police officer uh, put it on WikiLeaks. Yes. Uh, and I do know they are doing the rounds in the police force because police officers sometimes say to me, I like what you've written there. So they but are on needs, the internet. Yeah, but it needs to, we need to <coughs> hand out to every single one we meet. Mm. 
because they don't. If you talk to them, most don't know. Oh, most it's don't only know the one yeah. who seek knowledge themselves. Yeah. The rest they won't read it. Yeah, but so. maybe with this court case in June, yeah, it will come out. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been over. It's a very dangerous to talk to me. Um, I went into Europe to talk to a, a chief officer of the police, and after I left, he was sacked. Yeah. Uh, you know, people that get sacked just talking to me. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it's, it's very dangerous to meet me. I'm glad I don't have a job. I yeah. just do this for my yeah. job. I've been talking to the German doctor, Manfred Upp, several times about the scientific um, phenomenon called switching of the brain. Mm -hmm. which is really isolating or separating the two brain hemispheres yeah. so that people are, you can say, locked in the left brain and really cannot think coherently. Right. And what we have been discussing and you have been talking about here for two days now, you know, that, that's too much for most people because their brain is simply not functioning anymore. So they cannot, they, they don't have the full picture. They, they cannot understand how things hang together. So we have showed them these uh, dish switching exercises where you massage your ears and your eyebrows and, and do this to, to reconnect. Yeah. But as Dr. Dupp has said more times, he actually said it in 2008, he said, it's too late. We have not done our work good enough. He says the industry will just explode now and they have already accepted it. Yeah. But he says the, the challenge really is that many of the connections inside the brain have been destroyed. Yeah. And, and will not be restored.